Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we have our Southern Fleek Bath Box. The scent coming off of this smells so good you can't even imagine. Let's get into it. I can't wait to see what's in here. I cannot get over how good this box smells. We're just going to get right into it. This is the Southern Fleet Bath Box. It is sent to me by Nikki for review. I will put a link and a code below with code Catherine. You will get 10% off in her Etsy shop. Not only does she do the box, but she also has an Etsy shop where she just has a lot of products. That is what it looks like on the inside. The scent coming off of here is like fruity. I wanna say it's fruity. I will probably be completely wrong. You guys know I am terrible at identifying fragrance, but I think it's fruity. We have our little sticker that tells us a little bit about all of the products in here. Mm, it smells, it smells so good. This is the April box. Oh, it's bunnies and such cute stuff. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. This one looks like a peep. <laughs> Look how, oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. It looks, it's a purple peep. It's a bath bomb, I'm sure. It is so adorable. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. What does it smell like? This is Chillin' With My Peeps Bath Bomb. This large, brightly colored bath bomb is made with skin nourishing ingredients and scented in either French lavender or strawberry guava. I don't know. <laughs> it feels like I should know. I want to assume that it's French lavender because it's purple. I'm not getting a real, I think something else in there, honestly, is stronger. And without unwrapping, the, well, you know, we'll just poke a little hole on top. I'll say without unwrapping it, I don't know that I can know the answer because something coming out of there smells so stinking good. Yeah, I'm going with lavender, not just because it's purple. It might be my eyes deciding what it smells like, but I think that that's French. Oh, does it? So cute. So full of directions. Just read the words, Catherine. Okay. Next out, and I don't know. Oh my gosh. How stinking cute is that? Oh my goodness. I hate to even open it. The girls would like it, but you guys have to see it. It is the Southern Fleek Bath. It is Wild Elderberry Bubble Bunny. Enjoy fluffy bubbles and bright moisturizing water. Just dissolve contents under running water and agitate until desired bubbles are reached. You'll receive either wild elderberry or dragonfly moonflower. Oh, it's, oh, it's already a powder. I love these. Shh. Something else she sent us was also one of these powders and I loved this. I had to work so little for it. With the bubble bars, you have to actually crumble them. These are like pre-crumbled. Oh, that's awesome. I think this is what I smelled. Mm, wild elderberry. I don't think I've ever run across one in the streets, but it's good. Mm, I love that. So it's just, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's just a powder. It's totally just a powder. It smells fantastic. And he's a bunny again. I feel kind of proud about that. Okay, next out, I don't know what this is. Looks kind of like a life raft. That is so cute. It's like a bunny biscuits. <laughs> that is so cute. The back of it says Southern Fleek Bath Banana Cabana. Oh, it does smell like banana. What does this say? In the tradition of a good Easter egg hunt, this fun donut bath bomb will be one of five different fragrances available. And each one has a cocoa butter bath melt on top in the shape of a bunny bottom for an extra moisturizing bath. So this is a bath bomb and this is a cocoa butter bath melt. So you get the fun of the bomb, but you also get some nice moisturizing in there. I love that. And I can totally smell the banana. That's so fun. How much fun is this box? Okay, next out. Oh, it's a soap bar. I love soap so much. That is what it looks like. Has a cute little bunny engraved into it with like gold luster dust. I don't know if that's coming across. I hope you guys can see that. It says excellent soap on the front. This beautiful soap bar is naturally made cold process soap. It's infused with mulberry silk for an amazing feel on the skin, scented in a medley of berries, cherries, and peaches, rounded with citrus and soft woods. Yummy. It does, it smells, I don't know. I never know whether to say this or not because I don't know if it's, if Nikki, I'm sorry if this is a slam and be sure and email me and tell me. This smells, 
like it's straight off the Lush lines. It has a very lush scent to it, which you guys know I love. It smells so good. One more thing. This is huge. It might be a two-hander. Can you guys see how big this is? It's an Easter egg. I can tell that. Oh my goodness. This is so much fun. Look, <laughs> I almost can't hold it in one hand. It's pink with the orange polka dots on the back. It says that it is a bath bomb in its orange blossom. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I thought this was what the smell of the box was. No, no, no. It's this. It's orange blossom and it's kind of the cross between floral and a creamsicle. It smells delicious. Surprise egg bath bomb. This huge 11 ounce egg is what everyone is looking for during the Easter hunt. The prize egg. Two of these giant moisturizing bath bombs have surprise sterling silver jewelry inside. Is it yours? May come in one of four amazing fragrances. I would love to hear who got the prizes. So that's very interesting. I will do this soon in case by chance I am one of the ones that got lucky. Maybe she's already put it up on her site. I'll have to go check it out. Oh my gosh, that smells. The orange blossom. Mm, that smells so good. Yes, I'm coming down with a cold. I'm up here with just my tea. And I think probably I will be soaking in this tonight. So if by chance I'm, well, I'll let you know either way. I was going to say, if by chance I'm a winner, I'll let you know down below, but I'll let you know either way. How fun and fantastic was that April box? We received the Orange Blossom Gigantic 11 ounce, hard to hold with one hand, Easter egg, the French lavender. There's no guessing. It's written right on the back for me. Mm, that French lavender peep, he's a beauty and he's a bath bomb. We received the soap. The excellent soap has a very lush scent to it. A little bit of that darker, more woodsy scent. I think she talked about the woodsy scent in it. We got our adorable bubble bunny with our bubble granules. That's probably not what she calls it. What did she call it? She didn't. She just called it bubbles. So we'll call it bubbles too. And the bunny bottom bath bomb that is bath bomb and melt. So it's moisturizing for you. How stinking cute is that? These boxes, 0% of the time disappoint. They never, ever disappoint. They are so cute. They smell so good. You want to immediately use all of the products. You know what the biggest problem, the one drawback you're going to absolutely have with this box? What are you going to use first? <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the hardest problem that you're going to face the day you open this is what do you want to use first? I'm going to use that egg in case by chance I got lucky. I mean, we all want to know, right? Oh, my lights have gone out. It must be time for bed. I will use the egg first just so we'll know if I'm a lucky winner. I bet a lot of people did that this month. Thank you so much for coming by, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to be here. I appreciate Nikki for sending this over. I will put her link down below. Be sure and use code Catherine. It will get you 10% off in her shop. Thank you so much again for coming by and have a great evening, guys.